Welcome to a new segment called Valley Deep Dive. In this segment, we go to the places that keep the valley going and see how they do it. Established in 1999, Mana Soup Kitchen serves high quality meals to those without food security six days a week. This week, we visited Mana Soup Kitchen to see how it works. I think things like food security, uh, shelter are critical. You know, you really can't go anywhere if you're hungry or you've got no place to, to live. And I, I particularly like the approach here. If you're hungry, show up and we'll feed you. We don't pat you down, check your wallet for how much money you have. You know, it's just like, you're hungry, here, have a meal. The meal, the food is fabulous. That's the thing I love. I hung out a little bit later and actually got a meal and uh, it was spectacular. Since the pandemic, we've had to switch. This was formerly our dining room, which was set up like a cafe with tables and chairs and a serving line. But with the pandemic, we had to switch to takeout only. So here we package all of the meals, take out at the door. So that has enabled us to have a safe place for our volunteers through the pandemic to continue this work and a safe place for our guests. This will be a little bit bigger bee's nest later when the food comes out of the kitchen, but I can show you the kitchen. So this is one of our kitchens. So we serve mostly out of two churches currently, St. John's, where you are now, and Edwards Church on Main Street. We have for 30 something years. The simple meal tonight is going to be barbecued cold pork cheeseburgers, uh, sweet potato wedges, and a dipping sauce, which will be like a garlic aioli, garlic, chipotle, pepper, aioli. Just a little bit of pepper. <laughs> yes, a little bit of pepper. Um, and you know, Wednesday night is a simpler meal than some. Uh, tomorrow we'll do two meals because we deliver for our guests that we have in hotels currently, which is about 35 people. We'll give them a meal to get them through Thursday and Friday. One of the things that we noticed with the pandemic hitting is we basically eliminated that human contact with our guests. So our volunteers missed it, I missed it, our guests missed it. Um, so. We worked with the church and we were able to open up in one of the unused classrooms downstairs, you know, a living room, if you will, where people can come. So when we, when St. John's, who well, I'm a member of St. John's, but when St. John's built the new addition in this, from here back is the new addition, we were, I don't know what it was, seven years ago now, but we were just thinking about the addition. The priest at the time, Kat and I were having lunch with a guest and he was saying that he had a job interview, but he was sleeping outside. And he says, I wish I just had a place to get clean clothes or take a shower. And that's what made Kat decide, well, when we build this new addition, they better have a laundry and shower in it. And then we just set up this room. It's a little grim now because in the beginning, you know, we were worried that in the beginning of COVID, we were worried that COVID was transmittable by surface contact and things. So um, we have mostly donated clothes, you know, winter coats. Layering things is valuable too. In a lot of cases, you have to convince the people that it's worth the effort because when you're on one house, there's, you burn a lot of calories just staying alive. But we were trying to convince people that you really have to start that process so that you're in the list, you know? But, so it's, it's a hard thing to do. And it's a hard thing to do if you're living in a tent on the side of the bike path. So, yeah. you know, this space, you know, allows a safe spot to do that. Company. Thank you to Lee and the Mana staff for letting us visit. DM the transcript to Instagram with where you want us to go next. Meals are available at St. John's Church every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 11.30 a.m. and Wednesday nights at 6 p.m. Thank you so much for watching and see you next week.